Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a zombie horror film, Ever After. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a narrative text that tells us about a zombie plague which has descended upon the earth. It turns out to be so deadly that there are only two cities left in Germany where the people have managed to survive. In the city of Weimar, all infected people are killed without any warning or consideration. Whereas in the city of Gina, there is still hope for a cure. Despite these efforts, no one is allowed to leave either of the cities due to quarantine protocols. Now we are taken to the fenced zone of Weimar, where there are a few workers checking out the fences for any gaps or weaknesses. Some rabbit hop around, and then we switch to a sniper's POV. He seems to be checking out some mysterious figures, believed to be zombies. Then, we move to the rest of the city, where the roads are completely empty. There's a sign by the public fountain, advising people not to hoard water for themselves. We finally meet a girl named Vivi, who is chanting a poem while taking care of some plants. A woman shows up to ask Vivi about the plants, but she doesn't say anything. Vivi takes some medicine, and then she goes back to her plants. The woman gives her some extra paint, but she isn't keen on using them. The woman reasons that they need a little color in their lives, which is why she wants Vivi to use the paint on herself. It's implied that this woman is simply a figment of Vivi's imagination. Later after having used the paint, Vivi spots a spider next to her, and then she plays with it for a bit. However, she thinks back to a dreadful memory, where she had abandoned her sister in the swimming pool, thus allowing the nearby zombies to kill her. Vivi takes some more pills, and follows a voice. After that, she eventually bumps into an old man, also implied to be a hallucination. He asks Vivi why she's still here, but then, a nurse arrives to take him inside a ward. Vivi is somewhat aware that these people are not real, but she also believes that there is some truth to what she is seeing. The next day, Vivi decides to finally join a team, which is being sent to check on the fences. There, she makes an acquaintance with a skinny girl named Skinny, and they quickly become friends. Skinny likes Vivi's hair and compliments her, but Vivi's eyes are hurting because this is the first time she's gotten out in two years. The team makes their way to the fence and meets their instructor named Eva, who tells them how to use their shovels for their tasks, as well as for protection. While the rest of the team gets to work, Eva cooks some food while also coloring her smelly nails. She is introduced to Vivi and Skinny, but makes fun of them both by saying she has to deal with weaklings now. Despite her comments, Eva is told by the team leader that she has to take the girls to the fence for their training. Now Vivi spots a train on its way to the city of Gina. She is amazed to see it, but Eva tells her that only supplies are allowed on board this train, which is also fully automated. Suddenly, a greasy zombie arrives to the fence and attacks Skinny, who is working on it without any supervision. She gets bitten, so Eva comes to the rescue and kills the greasy zombie. She immediately slashes off Skinny's arm, hoping to save her from infection. But the teen leader arrives and scolds Eva for being reckless with Skinny. Eva tries to reason that Skinny should be safe now that her arm has been cut, but the group leader doesn't agree with her. She says that Eva has to kill Skinny because this is how the city of Weimar has been able to survive for so long. Eva reluctantly takes the gun and shoots Skinny in cold blood in front of everyone. Vivi can't take such a horrid sight, but the teen leader simply tells everyone to get back to work. Now we learn that Eva's tummy has been seemingly scratched by the zombie, but she doesn't reveal anything about this to anybody. Later, Vivi takes a bath in her tub, but is haunted by the memories of her sister during the zombie invasion. The guilt becomes too much for her to bear, so Vivi takes a glass shard and tries to kill herself by slashing her skin. However, she isn't able to go through with it, and then the woman appears once again. Vivi is advised by the woman to be calm, but she loses her mind. Suddenly, the hallucinated old man also visits Vivi and urges her to escape while she still can. Suddenly, the glass door shatters in front of Vivi, and she rushes out of her house into the streets. Vivi has now gone missing, as she doesn't want to be a part of Weimar's zero-tolerance lifestyle anymore. She is shown sleeping on a station bench the next day, and is woken up by the sounds of a man dropping off some items, which are supposed to be put into the automated supply train. After some waiting, the train finally shows up, and Vivi gets into it, without getting noticed by the man. She takes a nap next to the supplies as the train takes off, and is then woken up by Eva, who has also gotten on board. However, Eva doesn't say anything, and just sits on top of some of the supplies. Now, Vivi wants to get off the train, and her wish is immediately granted, when it suddenly stops without any good reason. Eva suspects something fishy, so she inspects the train. Vivi asks Eva if she has a weapon, but she simply fools around with her before stepping out. Eva is unable to find any clues, and her tummy injury seems to be growing worse by the second. 
Now that she's certain, Eva gets back inside the train and states that the train has broken down. This makes Vivi panic, but Eva reassures her that the people of Gina will send someone to fix the train because it is a valuable form of transport. Then Eva shows off her broken camera and sips on some water, which makes Vivi thirsty. Eva asks her to check the toilets for water bottles, but also jokes that there is a toilet zombie inside who attacks only those people doing smelly business. Regardless, Vivi takes the risk and opens the door. To her surprise, she finds a lot of butterflies, although there isn't any water. Now, Eva walks into the field and checks out a broken down truck. However, her tummy pain only grows worse and it doesn't get any better. She spots a zombie inside the bus. The zombie noises attract other nearby zombies to the bus, so Eva rushes back to the train. She doesn't mention anything to Vivi, and then she blocks the entrance doors with the cargo on board. Vivi tries to keep herself calm, so she makes conversation with Eva. Time passes by, but there's still no sign of a rescue team. Suddenly, Vivi hears some noises, but notices that it's only a few pigs chilling outside. It's nighttime now, and then Vivi spots an entire army of zombies charging at her, flexing their zombified muscles. This makes her go crazy, so she starts chanting again and lets out a chicken scream. Eva wakes up and looks out the window, but doesn't see anything. However, Vivi's screams have lured other zombies to the train, so Eva rushes out of it. Vivi immediately gives up hope and prepares to meet her end, but Eva drags her outside and takes her along on the journey to the city of Gina. The girls find an abandoned van in the middle of their way and decide to sleep there. The next day, Eva wakes up, but Vivi is still asleep as she was checking out Eva's camera at night. An awkward silence follows, and then Eva decides to leave the van. Suddenly, Vivi wakes up and asks Eva to take her along. Eva isn't interested in the additional responsibility, but then, Vivi reveals that she's repaired her broken camera. Eva is surprised to see this, and eventually allows Vivi to tag along for the trip. The girls continue their journey to the city of Gina and decide to chat with each other. As they walk, Eva asks Vivi what she used to do for a living before the apocalypse, and learns that she used to repair cameras on eBay. This takes Eva back to a memory, where she had locked innocent people out of a building to protect herself from a zombie attack. The girls continue on their way by following the railway tracks, but then they find a dead body on the ground. Eva takes a gun from the dead body, and she locates an entire army of zombies, feasting on what is assumed to be the rescue team for the train, sent from Gina. Vivi is worried that the rescue team will turn into zombies, but Eva reassures her that all of these people shot themselves dead before the zombies could feast on them. Now one of the zombies spots the girls and chases after their body smell. They manage to escape into a forest, and Vivi starts to panic once more. But Eva reassures her that Gina isn't far away from here. The journey carries on, even though it is tiresome and long. The girls cross a pleasant meadow, and Vivi is intrigued by the beautiful flowers on display. Eva also shows some kindness to Vivi and offers her some water. In the evening, the girls spot a couple of giraffes, probably they have escaped from the zoo. Eva takes a picture of the giraffes, and then she proceeds to take a selfie with Vivi. She tells Vivi that her passion is photography, but it's all gone to waste now because of the apocalypse. Vivi also opens up and talks about her sister, who she dearly misses. The girls decide not to get too emotional, so they listen to some soothing music together. A flashback dream shows Eva in the middle of a random photography session, but she wakes up as she can feel her tummy pains once again. The girls spot some zombies approaching, so they hide inside a treehouse and go to sleep. The next morning, the girls wake up to a strange-looking bridal zombie that has some weird outgrouts on its face. The zombie spots the girls in the treehouse and goes after them, but Eva is able to knock it down with a wooden plank. Eva wants to kill the zombie, but Vivi walks away because she doesn't want to become a savage. Later, the girls spot an abandoned campsite and decide to check it out. They enjoy some of the vegetables over here, but Vivi notices a corpse in the nearby pond. The entire campsite seems to have been abandoned by whoever was living there, so the girls look around for any signs of life. Vivi notices some loud banging on the other side of a door, so she tries to open it. Eva stops Vivi, but then the scratches on her tummy start to control her body. Eva starts acting like a zombie, so Vivi tries to calm her down, but she gets whacked away in an instant. Now, Eva sits next to the pond, but Vivi throws her inside the water. There, Eva gets attacked by underwater zombies, and she tries to protect herself. Vivi is of no help, as she can't even use the stone in her hand, so Eva ends up killing the zombie with the same stone. She attacks and scolds Vivi for being useless, but she gets pushed away, thus revealing her tummy scratch marks. Now, the girls decide to split up, but Vivi gets attacked by the bridal plant zombie. It's not looking good for her, 
But then she gets rescued by a plant lady, who has similar outgrouts on her face. Plant lady seems to like Vivi, so she allows her to sleep in her hammock. At night, Vivi has another nightmare, once again relating to her sister. She wakes up with immense guilt and no desire to live, so she finds a gun and tries to shoot herself. The gun turns out to be empty, and then Plant Lady arrives. She says that Vivi should start living if she already has the courage to kill herself. Now Plant Lady takes Vivi to her garden and allows her to enjoy her juicy vegetables. Plant Lady gives a speech on humanity's eternal greed, and then Vivi goes out for a walk. However, she spots Eva lying unconscious in the soil. Vivi fears the worst, but Plant Lady arrives and gives Eva one of her vegetables for nourishment. This revives Eva, but she attacks Plant Lady, saying that she's leaving with Vivi. Plant Lady smacks her down, but allows the girls to go. On their way, both Vivi and Eva start to see visions of the people they used to know, including Vivi's sister. Eva tells Vivi not to worry about these visions, but then her zombie desires start to creep in. Now Vivi and Eva cross a bridge, but an army of zombies arrives and chases the girls. Eva decides to sacrifice herself to save Vivi and tells her to make something of her life. Vivi runs away while the zombies brutally munch on Eva's body. Dejected and lonely, Vivi continues her journey with no sense of direction. She finds a weapon for herself and decides to enter an abandoned house in the middle of the woods. Vivi comes across all kinds of stuffed animals but cannot find any humans. She manages to get some refreshment, after which she finds a book in Braille. Suddenly, she is attacked by a blind zombie, and an intense fight follows. Vivi struggles against the zombie and even loses her eye in the middle of the encounter. Luckily, she manages to overpower the zombie and send it to meet Jesus. Vivi faints from the pain and once again revisits the horrid memory of leaving her sister alone with the zombies. She eventually wakes up and finds a dog sitting next to her, so she pets it and resumes her journey. Now, Vivi comes across a plant corpse and realizes that this is her sister. Vivi becomes emotional and sleeps next to her sister's body, but the plants start growing all over her as well. After waking up, she manages to get rid of the plants and carries on. Soon after, Vivi spots Eva, who has somehow managed to survive the zombie attack from earlier. She's also shown to have plants growing out of her, so Vivi asks her to come along. The movie ends with both the girls walking away into the sunset. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.